Toy Tractor Times is at the 2018 Lafayette Farm Toy Show in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're here with Jacob DeRutter from Taylorsville, Kentucky, home of the Taylorsville Toy Show. Yes, that happens sir. in December. Yeah. It's a yeah. good show. Yes, sir. So um, you brought another great display out. You've been setting up here for a little bit now. Yes, and uh, tell us what you brought out this year. Okay. Um, well, I, last year I brought a sugar beet harvest display. And uh, this year I wanted to bring something that's... Uh, a little bit closer to home, so I, I kind of brought a, a few thousand acre grain farm that'd be kind of similar to, to the farm that I work on yeah. and, and the farms you see around my, uh, the area where I live, which is uh, just south of Louisville, Kentucky. So so kind of a middle Kentucky farm. Uh, they, they, they'd farm corn, soybeans, yeah. and uh, some winter wheat. Uh, I'm trying to, the display kind of takes place in, in late December, early October, when, when everyone's just now starting to, to harvest corn and then uh, starting to plant winter wheat. And then that's, um, in Kentucky, we put wheat in after yeah. corn, which is not yeah. common in other yeah, right. places. Do you have double crop soybeans up that way? Or? Yes, sir, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of times they'll double crop the soybeans uh, after the wheat is harvested. Um, I guess I guess we can start with, with the trees. The tree, a lot of people have been asking me about the trees. Um, they're, they're super trees from Scenic Express. And um, you can just you, you can go outside and use just tree limbs that you find, and then um, it's just a it's a fiber, poly fiber, and then you can spray whatever color or um, whatever I guess coarse turf that you want to that you want to put on it. Um, the display uh, people have also asked about the elevation of it. Um, I I use foam. I carve into the foam. I use one inch insulation board, and then. Uh, well, we kind of see here how it elevates from the side. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then it looks great as we walk around. And I, I just want to go back to the trees. Okay. This one here, especially. Yeah. I would describe as a super tree. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Thank that's you. really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Try, tried to go for the in, in Kentucky. Uh, it gets really beautiful in October when all the trees change colors. And I, I kind of just wanted to show when when all the trees are kind of turning from green to their to their pretty red and orange. Well, let's uh, let's take a look into the woods here a little bit. It looks okay. like maybe you had dairy yeah. operation one time. We've got yeah. old uh, New Holland yeah. head. Yeah, as, as, as the farms as the farms gotten uh, older, they kind of just went to, from from any cattle to just grain, strictly grain. But got some older equipment back there. Tried to weather it up a little bit. Yep. You know, how, the old how you'd see on a farm. Got yeah, the flail mower. Yeah, yes, you know, sir. That, that's one thing I remember. You know, eighteen years ago, everybody in my area of Kentucky used those flail mowers, mm -hmm. and then. And Once we've gotten like the yeah. the VTs and yep. things, they're long gone now. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Innovation. Uh, got a nice international. Uh, is that an eagle truck? Or a, uh, I'm I'm not very familiar with semis, sure. so yeah, I, it's just an international uh, yep. that, that that was stretched and then it's got the sure. rock, rock and H uh, grain bit on it. Okay. Got and the then, grain pit there. Yes, sir. Got got the grain pit and then um, got the grain elevator. A lot of people have also asked me about about these. Um, the three big grain bins are from Walters, and then the two small grain bins are from uh, a company called Rick's Products. And these are all um, uh, products that you can get that they're produced for model railroads, but you can use them for, uh, they, look, they look good on 164 scale. It looks great. And uh, the unique, unique thing about these grain bins are too is, just like a real grain bin, you have to put them, you have to build them section by section. So, so like with these grain bins, you can, if you'd like to weather them, you can weather each section separately, and it uh, just kind of gives that more realistic look. Nice. I also like that there's two styles. You know, usually, you know, you may go with one person to build it, and yeah, time, right, right, and another and one kinda, to add on. Kind of what I was trying to think about that is, you know, the farm, the farm's been growing a lot. So originally, this would have had the three smaller, uh, three bins that are that are more weathered, and then recently they would have built the leg and then added the two two small uh, two new bins. Um, as, as the farm kind of went to more strictly grain operation and, and, and got larger. Uh, right here, you know, a lot of people have seen the, uh, the Tommy Hicks turbo, turbo till, or turbo, turbo chopper, I guess. I don't know what the name is for it now. That looks like the turbo chopper to me, yeah. I think, with uh, it's got the different sets on the back. But, but. Um, that, that, like on this farm, uh, that'd probably be getting replaced by the Landall VT, so that, that'd probably be seeing its way out. Um, here's a really nice piece. Um, that's available from Circle C Farm Toys. Uh, it's a 48-foot John Deere 2200 fuel cultivator, double fold model. Uh, it's a really impressive piece that Matt Matt created, and then, uh, I bought it and finished it out. It's got the harrows on it, uh, and the really cool thing is the wheels. The wheels also cast on the front. That's really nice. Yeah. And I like how I've got the strips of grass and the yeah. gravel. Yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, a lot of a lot of people are getting into static grass, but. Um, 
the, the, this coarse turf's a little bit easier to work with, but I, I also kind of like it too because it kind of gives the effect of the shorter grass, but but then you can also add in uh, more strips of grass to kind of give a three-dimensional effect. And you got a nice hill back here. We'll look at from the yeah. building standpoint, and I'll loop around here okay. and we can look for the cosmetic side of it. So, I mean, it's really nice. I like how you have this display tiered from a hill up here above the farmyard, and we come down this driveway. Yeah. And then it looks like maybe river bottom ground. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right, yep. So right now, this would be a lake. <laughs> yes, sir, a lot, of, a lot of rain here recently around Kentucky. Well, let's take a look at the, which model John Deere full okay. drive do you have out uh, here? This is a 9520. Uh, it's, it's got a ton of work into it. Um, filled all the rivets, filled the, filled the hood seam. Uh, it's got new tires on it, flashers. Um, the, the, the big thing about it is, too, uh, it's got a 100% accurate rear end on it. The rear end is about um, half, 50% uh, 3D printed, 50% um, die cast, and there's also some styrene in there. Uh, the, the, the cab comes off, it's got a, it's got a seated figure in it. Uh, oh, that's I, a nice detail. On the, on, on the other side, I, the, the Erdl model comes with, uh, you can see the three or four steps. It comes with the incorrect amount of steps. And then uh, I added, I gr gr grinded those out and uh, added the correct number of steps into it. I added the flashers. Like, it's got a toolbox in it. Uh, I was going to ask if that was lunch or a tool <laughs> set. <laughs> Just got some tools in case anything anything breaks down. What but, kind of GPS are you running? Uh, that, that's, a, that's a Paradigm okay. uh, GPS receiver. John Chamber is all about those yeah, GPS yes, sir, details, yeah. so you, I'm yes, sure sir. you're impressing him right now. <laughs> I hope so. He makes some nice stuff. And then uh, the Landall piece is one of uh, Adam Frerich's, I, I believe it's a 30-foot model, and, um, it, it, and a lot of people in our area are really going towards the vertical tillage practices nowadays, uh, especially, especially if they're going to put in winter wheat. So like a lot of times uh, up here we've got the fertilizer spreader, but they'll... Uh, it, a lot of people don't use grain drills in my area. They they spread it with a fertilizer spreader, the, their cover crop that is, uh, so that they can put in like winter wheat, rye, and any any other um, cover crops and kind of mix them together. Then they they apply it onto the field, and then the, then the, they'll come back in with uh, either a disc or a vertical tillage tool to kind of to kind of put the seed into the sure. ground and also tear up the residue so it so it um, you know uh, not dissolves, but I guess. Uh, Erodes breaks down. and breaks yep. down, yeah, breaks down uh, over over the winter. Very cool. Uh, and then uh, the, the the field is just broom broom bristle, lots of lots of broom bristle for the standing corn stalks. I like stalk. how you've got the the one missed spot here. There must yeah. be a branch uh, yeah, down ran, there. Branch fell down. You know, you, you see that especially around Kentucky with all the trees always falling. So combine had to go around there. That's just a really nice, very nicely done on the field and. Thank you. I guess we'll come up the elevation here. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't have to climb. <laughs> so, yeah, right. So uh, what model combine do we have here? Uh, it's a John Deere S660. Uh, just something a little different. I just have to get the mirrors out for you. Uh, you know, it's, it's got all the goodies. Um, it's been completely repainted. It's got the 3D printed feeder house on it. Uh, it's got the big flotation tires on it. Feeder house raises and lowers. That's from Hector Mathis. He's, he's doing awesome work with, with John Deere equipment. On the, uh, I like that it's got the optional. Uh, you know, a lot of them have that the big folding flaps right, up on top, right. and you've got the, just the regular. Yeah, you know this. Uh, this isn't the biggest extension. farm, but um, no, it's that's a nice choice of a yeah. combine. And then uh, it's got the it's got the uh, auger auger flighting detail in the grain tank. Man. It's just an awesome piece by Ertl, and and with with Hector's and stuff, and with Adam Frerich's uh, detail parts, it's just it's it's, it's an easy model to detail. Uh, one thing I'd even like to point out is I even tried to add the little little uh, extra work lights and things on the front as well on the rear to help the help the model farmer see a little better sure. a little bit better at night. Oh, tell me about this uh, grain cart. Okay, uh, that's a that's a design by John Schomburg. I bought it from Shapeways and finished it out myself. Uh, it's a Brent 672 model. <laughs> it's just an awesome piece. Um, the auger, the corner auger folds out. Uh, you know, there's not very many options for this size grain cart uh, in, in the hobby, so uh, it's just a good looking model. Uh, the, the decals were made by Jeff Borth, and I, and I believe his wife designed them. They, they turned out awesome, really made the really made it come look from a toy to more like the real thing. Uh, I just, they look great. Yeah, and yeah. That's he, one of the challenges with decals, you yeah. know, 
30 years ago they were just straight and they had a name on them and now you've got yeah. swishes and yeah, yeah, the graphics that fade um, and like, he, he just did an absolutely fantastic job I definitely recommend him for any any him and his wife for, for custom decal work what a, what model tractor do you that's have up a, on front? that's a John Deere 8520T uh, that, that tractor's got a ton of work into it as well uh, it really just started out as basically the only thing from Ertl is the cab the rest of the tractor is um, it's got 3D printed rear end pieces, uh, three point hitch. Um, the Ertl tractors come with um, with an attached. Every everything's attached, and so I had to grind all that off. And it's got the new hard bar, uh, resin pieces from Hector Mathis, and uh, the the whole hood is entirely uh, resin as well. So it's the complete uh, 20 completely correct 20 series hood on it. And then it's got the railings, uh, work lights, and then uh, of course. Try to put tractor fab uh, <laughs> steering wheels and everything. Very nice. Uh, then we've got which model again was on the Sprinter? Uh, that, that's a 4450 two wheel okay. drive. And then what kind of Sprinter? Uh, that's an eight ton Doyle Sprinter. Okay. That's a, that's another piece from Adam. That's great. <laughs> and then uh, I guess if you wanna look inside the shop. It's pretty busy. Uh, it's got we've got a Blue Jet side dresser in there, 16 row and. Uh, that would have been they would have been working on that oh, and then as the harvest rushes came by it's kind of had to uh, hit the back burner same with the 8850 um, that's a really cool track yeah I guess I'll I guess I'll try and I can pull them out for All you right. if you'd like sure this this is a piece a beautiful piece built by Matt Hollingshed uh, like I said 16 row model folds it's got all the lines ran on it uh, the, the bar itself actually raises and lowers uh, I'm just re really happy to add that to my collection and then uh, I guess I'll try not to break everything. But uh, the 8850 is a, is a Kinsey Repower. So it's got the, I'm sure you know a little bit more about it than I do. But it's, uh, but the Kinsey company just uh, added a few inches onto the, to the frame to put the new motor in. And uh, you can, you can see, kind of see where they had to add onto the, to the front part of the hood. This oh. tractor's got a uh, completely filled, I filled in all the seams and then, um, added a 3d printed rear rear end to it right. and uh, of course the cab comes off so it looks great yeah, yeah thank it's, you um you know these originally had a a v8 engine in from deer and yeah. then um, the v8 wasn't always reliable so mm -hmm. the kinsey came up with that repower option yeah that's a cool tractor yeah just a real cool tractor and, and probably probably an original tractor from the farm and uh, something they've held on to and are maybe now just kind of getting back to restoring it and making it making it look good I like your shop where you got the stains and the tracks and, and again just you know a little bit weathered aged yeah. and uh, yeah. kind of matches the the bin yeah. system over there yeah you know the, the shop probably would have been built about the same time as, as the as the bins were were so and I like your door as well, well thank uh, you that's uh that's one of Clayton Henderson's uh, doors it kind of kind of likes to give me some fits sometimes but it, it does raise and lower maybe if I get there we go but it's just like the real thing it's really really a cool little piece that you can add to your to your shop definitely lubricate it though unlike mine <laughs> but yeah cool cool piece to add to the add to the shop well thank you for the tour and for bringing this out yeah. uh, I uh, can't wait to see what you build next uh, thanks Jason